Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is another home tour, decor, interiors related video. Probably not the most exciting one I will do seeing as we're here in the bathroom. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, we fixed it up. We made it a lot prettier than it was when we, when we moved in. So I think you'll be excited to see it, hopefully. As I mentioned in my kitchen tour video, living in New York and especially in Manhattan has its pros and cons. And you really do have to work with what you kind of have, um, which may not always be a lot. But this bathroom, you know what? It was actually great. There's two bathrooms in here in this apartment, but it's just me and Kellen who live here. So there really was no need for, for two bathrooms. Like we're sisters, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so we turned one into a storage room, which was the best decision ever. And just like gets all the clutter kind of out of the way because it's all in that room. I will show you that someday because we did a really good job on that too. And then we use this bathroom as like our main bathroom. As far as I know, I do have some footage of the bathroom before we moved in. You know, typical New York, small, little bit grubby style bathroom, no window, what's new? <laughs> the joys of Manhattan. Um, and now I'll give you a look around what it looks like okay. now. So first off, we actually changed this doorknob. It was a really kind of like silver grubby one that had been there for a while. It was a little bit broken. So we just bought this gold and silver pretty glam one in Home Depot for like $20 and yeah transformed it um, okay so when you walk in as you can see the color scheme is like grey white little touches of um, blush pink these shelves actually weren't here there was other ones which were also gone a little bit grubby so we added in these two they're just like plain kind of like they aren't even glass they're plastic but they're just really cheap really handy got them in Home Depot as well and then I kind of call this shelf like <laughs> The stuff I don't use. Um, I'll explain in a while my skincare routine but my skin is very sensitive. I'll talk about that but these are kind of all like the fancy skincare products that I would love to be able to use but I don't because my skin doesn't really like agree with them um, at the moment anyway. So it's a shame to have them just sitting in my drawer in my bedroom so I put them as like a decoration here. So we have some La Mer bits, um, Bobbi Brown, that's so good actually that one. Um, we have some Cheryl Tilbury, more Le Mer, and then this is actually a lovely coconut like bath soak, more Bobbi Brown, and then more from this brand. This brand is so nice, I got these as presents. So yeah, just like to make it kind of pretty and like keep in with the decor. Um, then these, I actually forget where we got these, um, but they're just very pretty and very practical as well. So they are there. And that is that little area. Then the sink, we kept it very, obviously this is the sink. And in fairness, for a New York sink, it's pretty decent. Like I've had bathrooms, like well the last apartment wasn't too bad, but I've seen other bathrooms and like, it's usually one of the worst rooms in the place. So this was actually perfect. I was so happy with this lovely silver taps. And then I added in this for um, the soap, just really, really simple as well, black, uh, white and silver. And then these are the flowers which were on my um, table in the sitting room. And I just added them in here sometimes too. They're not always there, I won't lie. I added them in for the video, but they're really pretty there, aren't they? I actually might get another one of them and add it in. Then the towels, as you can see, these are actually from Lacoste, these gray ones. So up these smaller ones and then the two big ones and then just a regular white towel in between. They're like more for show. And I really remind myself of my mom when I say that, but like they're like the good towels that no one really ever uses just for show. <laughs> we did um, bed and breakfast for years in our house in, in Kerry in Ireland. So I'm well used to like, things being for show <laughs> and that's what they are so that's that and then up here we just have some like towel hooks um another towel that we actually do use and then it's a matching one over here for the hand towel silver and white bin down there and like a toilet brush holder and then the shower as you can see is actually like very like well sized for new york it's pretty big so then we just added this um little kind of storage place here this is all the hair products I use and I promise I will do a hair video very soon because I feel like I have a lot of good products to show you and like try it and test it um, and then up here I'm absolutely I'm gonna just stand in and show you I'm obsessed with shower gels they're like 
something that I can stop trying new ones. So at the moment I'm using some Aveda, um, Nox, which I saw, oh, I love this brand. This is actually, an, oh, it's gonna fall. This is actually an Irish brand back here. Um, this is like a very fresh kind of shower gel that I'd use like after the gym. This one I haven't tried yet, it's Rituals, but it's like, I think it says it's like illuminating foaming. Interesting, I must try that. And then this is like a scrub before I use tan, and then this is also like a bliss scrub down here too. I love fancy. Oh, there's also, yeah, another Aveda one back there. I think like I use different ones like after the gym and then different ones if I'm just like before bed. I'm kind of weird like that. But yeah, that's just how I store them. This is a really good hair treatment that I tried last night. I don't even know what it's called. What's the brand? I got it from like a PR company, Goldwell. Really good. My hair feels so soft today. So that is that little section and yeah. That is about it. Actually, one more thing, these lights. It was like the first thing I noticed when I walked into this bathroom. I was like, oh, perfect. These were actually here. Like, can you imagine? So I think that's really fancy for like a New York apartment. So they were there and then this mirror actually opens. And when we came, there was one here, but it was like kind of cracked here. So we just went and bought a new one and like fitted it in ourselves for like, I think it was only $30 and then it opens. And then this is where I keep all my skincare stuff. It was like that, which is really handy. So that is kind of everything. Let me just back back so you can get a proper look. As I said, very simple, very minimalistic, really like clean and crisp. The shelves are kind of for show, <laughs> same as the towels. Because um, this is really handy because this is where I do keep all my skincare stuff because this crazy color would drive me mad on the shelves. And yeah, I know I'm a weirdo. And then um, this is where obviously all the shower stuff is. Shower and then just a little hook here for some towels. So yeah, there you have it, our NYC bathroom. I think when it comes to bathrooms, the trick is just to keep it really minimalistic because bathrooms are kind of the room that like will get the most dirty and like cluttered and stuff because like you use it so much and like brushing your teeth and doing your skincare and obviously showering and everything. So I think that the trick is to keep the colors really like bright and minimalistic and like crisp. So when we did do, um, the kind of redecoration. I, I wanted to do like greys and whites. And then these, actually I forgot to show you the mats, one second. So we got these little furry like kind of bath mats. So this is the bigger one and then there's like a smaller one in front of the shower. I think these are from Bed Bath & Beyond. I'll have a look and I'll write it in the description box. But yeah, just really nice. And I think it's a good color on the floor. I hope you enjoyed the very, very, very quick and small bathroom tour. As I said, it's just a small space that I just made the most of. And I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. And maybe it provided a bit of inspiration. Like the little shelf area can do wonders for a room and just make maybe some artificial flowers. You'd be surprised what you can do with that small decor. So that is it. Um, I have more interiors videos coming up. I still have to show you the sitting room, the office, and my bedroom. So they're all in the works at the moment, coming very, very soon. And yeah, I'll be back again on Thursday with the next video. I do new videos every Tuesday, every Thursday. So be sure to subscribe if you want to, and you'll get notifications every time that I post. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.